Welcome to the week 3 briefing video for market research. Week 3 sees the start of the tutorials. So what I need you to do for classes this week is I need you to read chapter 4. I need you to look at exercise question 2 and exercise question 6. And be ready to talk. Be ready to participate. The tutorials should be around 15 to 17 people in size. Now, my tutorial on Tuesday is currently running around 20, so if a few people would like to volunteer to step down and move to one of the smaller classes, that would be great. The smaller the tutorial that you move into, the better it will be for you because there's more opportunity. Now, with the tutorials, the idea is that they're not mini lectures. They're not one of us and the squad standing up and giving you an hour, about 15 minutes worth of monologuing. It's about us being in the room, being able to facilitate the discussion. So, what I'd like you to do, as well as prep the exercise questions so you can talk about them, and in the preparation do about 100, 150 words worth of writing up, I'd like you to look at the course blog for the week. The address should be here. And Follow through the instructions I've put up on the course blog about using Google and having a bit of a um, explore with the advanced Google search function. Then come along to the class and have a bit of a chat about it. How did it work for you? Did you see any value? Did you see any use in it? The discussion question of the week talks about uh, the use of census data and the ABS uh, recently collected census data for Australia and that census data has gone live. So what I'd like you to do with the discussion question is do up a few bullet points, do up a few notes, and bring that to the lecture on Friday. Now for the tutorial kits as we roll through semester, I will be asking you to write up discussion questions as a more long form approach. And by long form I'm looking 300 words thereabouts compared to short form for the exercise questions around 100, 150. Again, this isn't a lot of words, but the idea here is that a discussion question is more of an essay answer. And the discussion question also asks you to take sides, bring evidence, use supporting material. So as part of being a market researcher, your technique that you are undertaking with the discussion questions is that you are learning how to support and evidence your argument through secondary data, secondary materials. So write up, use citations, use references, Wikipedia is fine, the textbook is good, there's a bunch of other sources out there. Make use of Google Scholar, make use of Google. On the subject of the tutorial kits, by resolution of the class on Friday, they will now be submitted in weeks 5 and week 7. What this was done. The purpose behind this is week five submission will be marked pretty quickly, turned around to you as fast as possible, so you've got feedback to lead you into the submission for week seven. For week seven's submission, again we will go for a fast turnaround here so that we can give you guidance and advice to flow through to the week nine solo assignment. The solo assignment itself one of the requests that we will try to adhere to and we'll try and work with here is producing feedback on that solo assignment that you can use to improve and guide your group assignment, which will be due in week 12. So effectively, we set up an assess rolling assessment feedback schedule that you'll submit your first item in week 5, receive feedback for the week 7 submission, receive feedback then for the week 9 submission, receive feedback then for the week 12 submission, at week 12, you are now down to, you have an exam to go, you will have received three batches of feedback before that exam, and the exam is going to be very much in the nature of the discussion questions, so you've done a few of those across the course of the semester in terms of the practice of the writing style, and the exam will be on the course itself, will be on the content and material that you have done 12 weeks worth of content, practice, training. So whilst we will try and turn around the week 12 marking as fast as we can, so that you go into the exam knowing your final scores, your exam feedback we know 
should push from 5, 7 and 9. So we'll have a feedback loop in place so that you go into the exam having trained in our style, trained in our technique and receive feedback on how your training is going. The feedback loops. One of the things that I've raised with the class on Friday is I would like to set up a couple of feedback loops for the subject. There were two particular questions uh, historically this course has demonstrated some problems with and that was on the guidance and direction, the I knew what I was doing with the course and I received adequate feedback on my assessment. Now I think with four assessment items and three rounds of assessment feedback before week 12 we might have the second question a little bit in the bag but I'm not going to get overconfident, I still want to hear from you whether you're satisfied with the level of feedback you're getting. But this is the thing, I'm going to want to hear from you. And what I'm asking for you is that you close the feedback loop as much as I try and close the feedback loop. I need your responses, I need your feedback to help me build and prepare the subject and make it something that suits your needs and your learning styles. So to that end, what we have in play now for feedback loops, for means by which you can contact me. We have a course email address. We have the course Twitter account. We have the course blog. We also have a FormSpring account that can be used for anonymous, pseudonymous or named questions to me. And you can leave a video reply on YouTube. You can also leave comments on YouTube, but yeah, YouTube comments aren't notorious for being fabulous. But if you really want to ask me a question, you've got a webcam or a camera handy, you can actually ask me that question. You can film it, put it up, and I'll post a reply back. So, there are means and mechanisms for you to contact me, and I'd like you to use them. I have to say, Friday's class was fabulous for the interaction, and I really appreciate the fact that the group who were there, I asked you a set of questions, you gave me some responses, you did a really good job on that, and I know it was a big ask, I know it was a tough thing to do to you in your first week of us face to face, and I'm going to do this to you again, I'm going to ask you to participate, I'm going to ask you to talk and interact and be part of this, so I know I'm asking a lot of you,